Hello everyone! Welcome to my studio and welcome to my channel. Let's pour with Patty. Today we are working on uh, my last practice run before I do my commission piece. My commission piece pieces are the very next ones I am doing. This universe is my witness. So the, the temperatures are warming up now. Um, I'm cleaning up my drying tables and my resin pieces. And uh, it's it's time. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So I am going to real quick, we're going to tape up the back, put some handles on, probably around here somewhere, and uh, put some screws in the corners for little feetsies. And I'll be right back with you. Till then, sit back and enjoy, speed this up, give you some music to listen to, and uh, enjoy. canvas all prepped, handles on, tape on, little uh, corners on for when I remove the handles um, before I resin. Wet the back down to tighten the canvas. Now all I have to do is mix the paint. I am starting all new with paint. Oh, this, this damn learning process. It just, when you learn and you're kind of figuring it out on your own, trying to watch YouTube videos yourself. Sometimes you get confused or misinformation or what have you. I, I think I was going about my pouring medium all wrong. I just watched, oh, thank goodness for Tammy Anderson art. <sighs> Lifesaver. Um, she just had a video. I, I'm gonna see if I can link it in the description. I'm allowed to leak other people's videos, which I think I am. She just did a video comparing using straight pouring medium, Liquitex professional pouring medium, like I have spent a lot of money on, or just straight Floetrol. There's debate on whether or not using too much Floetrol or using Floetrol period can dull your paints. She kind of blew that out of the water. At first, when I was watching the video, I was like, hmm, I don't know. I'm thinking the case for the pouring medium is winning so far until the end. <laughs> and I was looking at the results and everything she sold me. So for the reasons also that Floetrol versus the pouring medium Flow troll dries much slower. And the Liquitex pouring medium, or any pouring medium for that matter, dries super fast. And when it dries super fast, it increases your chances of cracking. And if you've gone back through all of my videos, you will know I have an issue with my paints cracking. She said that, you know, it's okay to do the recipe that I was going with first that I got off of Molly um, from Molly Artistry four years ago, her one of her very first videos, her pouring medium recipe video. And 
I don't know if that's still the same recipe she uses, um, her standard one, or if she's changed it since then, or if it's just because she lives in Florida and I live in Pennsylvania, but I don't think that recipe was working for me. So I'm going to try to just go straight up, flow trawl, and paint to a three to one ratio. And so I've got all my pearl paints here, I've got my black Amsterdam, black oxide, and I've got my brand new bottle of flow trawl. I'm going to mix it, shake it really good. This is probably one of my biggest mistakes when I very first mixed my original paints, which is another reason why I'm mixing up new paints, new pearl paints, because the pearl paints were a part of that original mixture. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, I have officially lost all of my strainers. So I need some new ones and I cannot find the box that has the pantyhose in it. So all I have for a strainer is this little spoon strainer thing with jigger because you should always strain your flow trawl. Well, it doesn't stink, so there's that. And really, I don't even need to keep you here for this. I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm changing my recipe. And we're going to see how just straight flow trawl to paint. And if I, I feel I have to thin it down, um, I can just add some distilled water. So I won't make you sit through this anymore. Mix up my paints and we'll be right back. Hello everyone, welcome back. So, we are ready. Canvas is all prepped. Paints are all mixed up. I think it's time to go. I have painted the edges. Did it yesterday, just in case. Just, just to ensure good coverage. That's what I'm doing. Keith is on notice when it's time to tilt. I got my marbles. I got my cell activator and palette knife to swipe with. Got my paper towels to strategically placed. I think it's time. My one paint, the red. I'm out of red. I couldn't make any more. So I'm gonna have to use my old recipe, which could screw everything up. I hope not, but it's, it's possible. Maybe I won't use it in the swipe, but I'll use it everywhere else. First, we need to lay down our black base. Why the black base? Because the pearl paints really work best when you have a dark colored base. This is a 16 by 40 canvas, gallery wrapped. My very first gallery wrapped. You can tell by the the two inch, or I'm sorry, inch and a half sides that this is a professional canvas. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to put a nice puddle So first, what we're gonna do is we're just, just like the last, or my round one, I'm gonna squirt it 
all over and uh, random patterns, but each color is going to be its own pattern. So, like this is the pearl blue. We will do little curly cues with the pearl blue. Now we will do other lines with the pearl violet. Hopefully that's enough of that. Now the pearl green we will do squares. Okay, and the red, which we don't want to use too much of because it is a different recipe than all the other paints. Let's just do, we'll do little blobs of the red. And now the yellow. What are we going to do with the yellow? So we got that. Now I want to do a couple of swipes. First, I want to practice to make sure they're going to work okay. Yellow. Green. Blue. And violet. Okay, so we got Amsterdam Oxide Black. Take this and go that way. Okay, I would have liked to have seen a little more swirly swirl or, you know, I got a little bit in there. You know, there's a lot to think of when you're swiping. <laughs> do another one that way and bring it up this way. I don't want to do too much swipe. This time we'll do... I'm still picking up some of the red, so they're, it's not being completely left out. I'm swiping over those circles, those little puddles there, and those are the red.
So we've done that. One there. Oh, these are turning out so nice. side so we're technically balancing three marbles at the moment we're okay. trying to we're gonna get them to swirl around back up through here and there and there and everything so um okay just let them drop because we're risking getting muddy now. What do you think? It's up to you. Okay, and then we have to finish tilting. All right. Okay. Now, let's find out where the weight is. The weight is pretty much evenly, but I want to go towards your corners first. We're going to go towards this corner over here. Okay. It's all you. I'm on the table. Okay, I want to come back because I can't get quite to the corner yet. Let's get some off over here, and then maybe to that corner. Did it over? Mm -hmm. Okay, now kind of get it back over to this corner. There it goes. All right. Now we're gonna come Not back. Not quite. Not quite. A little bit more. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna bring it back towards the middle. I'm gonna come back my way. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's working its way. It's working. I'm not using my handles here. Okay. This corner. Up. Almost there, almost there, very slowly. Okay, I'm gonna tilt it back towards you because I don't like all that darkness down there. I can't see. Not really moving anymore. It's slowly coming down. I can hold this if you want to take a look. Come on in. This is going to be amazing. Okay. Um, right you want to go around that side? Okay. All right, just sit down for a second. Let's look at that because I like the, now it's like dark, light, dark, light, dark. I'm starting to really like that. Wow. This is gonna be amazing. Holy crap. I like it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let's see. 
screw up for a minute. It is sliding down. Oh, my back is killing me. Watch it. Okay, but yes, sir. You tell me. It just went off the edge. Okay, we gotta pull it back that way, though. Okay, just I'll, I'll lift. Oh, there's still a lot of paint on it. Okay, I'll lift. I'm glad we're doing this. Okay. Wow. Okay, pull it back your way. And do it again. This way. Don't you think that's still enough? And I want to make sure I like the composition. I like it. It's like a storm. I kind of lost my, my, uh, storm over the beauty swipes. Of but I mean, this is what these are. Those are the swipes. And I did two because I really wasn't sure how they'd turn out. Yeah, we gotta wait for the colors to come in, which will be in a day or so. Okay, let me work my edges and sides, and then I will bring you in for a close up. And here it is wet. Let me see if I can get the whole thing in. 16 by 40, not the easiest. Uh, to get in there, but and the blue and the green and the yellow, which looks a lot like gold. This is gonna be amazing. I'm pretty sure that in there is the red. Surprising how much color is actually coming through already, but they're all dull and look weird until they dry, and that's when the magic happens. All right, so that's what we have so far, and uh, we'll come back and check it when it dries. Thanks for your help, babe. Very welcome. Wow. Those colors really are popping through. So, I did have a little bit of cracking. Oh, oh no, that's, that's not cracking, that's the lacing. But, I did have, where is it, down here? A little bit of cracking in what? The red. We knew the red was gonna be a problem. And sure enough, but really that's, that's not bad news. We can learn a lot from that. So just a little bit of cracking. And it really only seems to be happening in the red. These are some cells, cause it's in the lacing part. Um, but it's the red. So I've got, I've got some acrylic pen or paints, pet paint pens that I'm going to use to maybe color those cracks in. But, uh, yeah, there it is. You can see, you can see, and you'll see more when I varnish it or resin it. But there are, there's this part here where you can kind of see some lacing and this up here you can see some lacing and, and it continues up here but, oh I love that blue and that looks a little cracked that's the red again I'm just going to color in all of these darker spots and see how that works there we go. I can't even get the whole piece in. Let me see. I think I like it like this more. 
I guess it all depends on if you're putting it like in the end of a hallway or behind a couch or above a bed. But yeah. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Remember, always keep creating. Bye.